Hi everyone and welcome to Nico's Kitchen's Fast Food. Today we're going to be making a dessert perfect for Thanksgiving and it's going to take you no longer than 10 minutes. Of course I'm talking about my 10 minute pumpkin cheesecakes. He's got budget meals Monday, what you want Wednesday, fast food Friday, what else could you share? It's Nico's Kitchen where satisfying meals are prepared. So for our 10 minute pumpkin cheesecakes, the first thing we're gonna do is get our pumpkin ready. Now here in Australia, canned pumpkin isn't really available. I know it's readily available in the US and other parts of the world, but here in Australia, all we wanna do is steam our pumpkin until it's soft, mash it. I put mine in a blender and puree it so it's nice and smooth. So what I've got here in the bowl is some softened Philadelphia cream cheese. Make sure it's soft because it's going to be so much easier to work with. To the cream cheese, I'm going to be adding some cream. And what the cream will do with these cheesecakes, it'll just give it this beautiful sort of silky texture and really complements that cream cheese. Next, some spicing. Again, here in Australia, we can't really get pumpkin spice readily available, but I'm going to be doing the next best thing and pretty close is some mixed spice. But of course, if you can get hold of pumpkin spice, use that. So just using our electric beaters, I'm gonna mix this for about 30, 40 seconds on high. Now that I've got that cream together, I'm gonna to be adding in our pureed or mashed pumpkin. And to give it a beautiful sweetness with a nice sort of molasses touch to it, I've got some brown sugar. If you don't wanna use brown sugar, you could just use some caster sugar or super fine sugar. And once more, we're gonna give this a mix around for about a minute. So this is what we're after with our main filling mixture. How easy is that? So what I've got here are some crushed ginger biscuits or ginger cookies. We call them ginger nut biscuits here in Australia. And they've got this beautiful ginger flavor. They're sweetened uh, cookies or biscuits, but they've got no toppings on them or anything like that. And I've just put them in the blender crush them down and almost like sand consistency. And now I'm gonna be adding in some melted butter. And this is gonna be our base for our cheesecake. So we're just gonna give this a good mix around. And that's why we're after it'll be this dark sort of almost wet sand consistency. Now if you can't get ginger cookies or ginger biscuits, just use some plain uh, cookies for this and add in some dried ginger spice. So I've got my serving glasses here. We're gonna be serving them up now. You can use any present presentation dish that you want. You can put them into little uh, ramekins or martini glasses, completely up to you. I'm just gonna be putting some of that cookie base just on the bottom. And what I'm gonna do now is just grab a glass that is about the same size on the bottom as it is on the base of these. And I'm just going to press down so now we're gonna be putting in our pumpkin cheesecake mixture. And what I'm gonna do is just pipe it in. It's a lot easier. I've just got this in a sandwich lock bag. I'm just gonna cut the end off and pipe it straight in. And guys, right at the end, I've got some whipped cream here that I'm gonna be placing just on the top, just to finish this one off. And last but not least, I've just, for presentation, I've got a couple of cinnamon sticks that I'm just gonna place straight in and these bad boys are ready to go. Now I think these little cheesecakes look a million bucks. I've got a little bit of everything here. I've got the base, the cream, the filling. Here we go. Mm. Oh, that is so good. Oh, those ginger, those ginger biscuits on the bottom are just amazing and go so well with the pumpkin and then that creamy cheesecake filling. It's not overly sweet, just great flavors, great textures. I've been saying it all week. This is a fantastic dessert to serve any time of the year, but really on Thanksgiving because the flavors are so unique to that time. And you know what? You can do this in no time at all. You can do this the day before, pop them in the fridge, and then dessert is done for your Thanksgiving menu. And you know what? They look 
pretty cool too. So make sure you give this one a go. They are an absolute treat.